Hi, I'm Oliver Sharp, and I'm on the SSC Pacific Transdeck facility on Point Loma Naval Base for the 12th annual AUVSI and ONR AUV competition. It's truly an international field here in San Diego, with 30 teams from five different countries entering vehicles in the competition. We caught up with Daryl Davidson, the executive director of the AUVSI Foundation, who gave us a little bit of a background on the event. Well, this is the eighth year that we've been here in San Diego, and it's a beautiful venue. We're right on a bluff looking out at the Pacific Ocean, and this is a wonderful outdoor test pond that's part of the Space Wars System Center facility here. And we've got 30 teams here this summer that are from all over the world, including Korea, Japan, uh, India, Canada, and most of the teams are from the U.S. The main thing that they learn from the competition is how to work together as a team. I mean, there is the very obvious challenge of having, you know, building a submarine, uh, creating the intelligence systems within that submarine that will run this mission and do it all by itself without somebody controlling it. But really, I think the more important life lessons that they take away from here are developing that team, putting together the students with the skill sets that they need to complete this mission, and then all of the organization and orchestration that it takes to, to work feverishly, to get your team motivated and organized and keep them on focus, get them here and try to see how your submarine does once it's in the water. It's still early, but many teams have already had to overcome adversity. KAIS, the team from South Korea, had trouble getting their vehicle through customs, while Sonya AUV spent a long night rebuilding a circuit board after a fire nearly knocked them out of the competition. Believe me, these teams will be tweaking and rebuilding right up to the final minute. This competition has grown tremendously over the years, attracting the attention of new universities, industry insiders, and even politicians. I'm Jerry Sanders, the mayor of San Diego. I think one of the things that we know as a, as a nation and as a region, especially San Diego, is we need many, many, many more engineers than we're getting right now. Uh, and when you get these type of competitions that have kids pointing to this for a long time, and some of them are literally starting in middle school and high school now, uh, it bodes well for the future of the country in terms of the number of engineers that we need. And we're especially proud of the military efforts here, uh, the industry we have with Spay War and their research capabilities. Uh, they really form a great nucleus for our universities and for the other institutions that we have. We consider ourselves a Navy town, uh, and this really, uh, I, I think it really shows it well. That's it for day one of the 12th annual AUV competition. We'll be back tomorrow with all of the qualifying round action, and be sure to join us on Sunday as we bring you the live webcast of the finals from 12.45 to 4.15. Check out auvsi.org forward slash competitions for all of our event coverage. We'll see you tomorrow.